Hi, my name is Nicolas. I'm the French everyday guy. And uh, today I'd like to, to show you on how to use Caliber software. Caliber is a software that helps you manage your uh, ebook library. Let's start and getting started with Caliber, which is a free software and you, you'll have a link in the description if you want to download and install it in your computer. So we have a, a wizard on the startup. Uh, you can choose your language. Of course, I will make it English here for this video. You can select, you can make a new So I'd like to call my directory ebook lib. Next, we'll have to choose our, our e-reader. So if you don't know what to use, you can select generic e-ink device. But if you have an e-reader, you can choose a model from Amazon, for example, if you have a Kindle Paperwhite or a Kindle Basic. So I'll make it a Kindle Paperwhite. You can add your Kindle email if you want to use uh, this functionality. So Caliber can send ebooks to your Kindle so you don't have to plug in your Kindle on your computer. I choose not to do. And this is finished. And you have the Caliber interface. So if you have a new version available, Caliber will show you this and you can click on update to download the new version and install it on your computer. So when you start Caliber, you have a, a list of ebooks. So it's a new installation. Maybe you'll have a, a manual uh, for Caliber, but uh, I don't have it. So you can simply add <coughs> ebook with drag and drop here. And you will see here the book and some information on the right. Next, if you have a, a new reader plugin, you can do a right click here and send this ebook to your device. This ebook is in EPUB format. So if I have a Kindle, Kindle don't read ebook with the EPUB format really good. So Caliber will convert it to another file format for you, so you don't have to do it. If you want to convert a book, you can click on this button here. I will select PDF here, and you have some information here. To convert to PDF, click OK, and you have a a job here in Caliber, which shows you the progress of the conversion process. When it's finished, you can close the window and you will see that you have two formats for this book, so PDF and EPUB. You can click here to open the PDF book with your favorite PDF viewer. And you can also right click here to open the containing folder and see on your computer where is located the books. Now you can manage your library of ebook and maybe some information here are not quite right. So you can edit the metadata information here with a right click or by clicking this button, Edit Metadata. As you can see, we can change the title, the author name, the author sort, which is the, the, the process which Caliber used to, to, to sort name, and uh, add uh, some command. You can also change the cover, so I will change it and add a new cover. And when it's done, you click, you can click on OK. And you'll have 
the new cover here. If you don't have a cover, you can also download metadata here and Caliber will find for you the right information for this book. So it, it can take a while uh, because Caliber is interrogating internet, Google, Amazon, etc. So maybe Mm, maybe I can use um, this one. Next, we can change the cover. I like this one. Click OK. And now you have all the information stored in Calibre when you click OK. You can also add in Calibre PDF files. So it can be good to store PDF documents too. And if you want to read a book on Calibre, you can simply click on View here. And Calibre will show you the book so you can read it on your computer. I think it's a good e-reader software it's it may be a little slow but you can use the arrow key on your computer to read the books and if you click the right click on your mouse you can also change the interface for example the font size or your preference so we can change for example the page layout or keyboard shortcuts and styles for uh, to add a background image for example but I'd like to change color to sepia dark uh, which allow me to, to, to read more comfortable the ebook. If you use it full screen, uh, you can display two pages in this reader. Of course, you can select text, add an information on the ebook. You can also search selected words, copy, or uh, clear the selection. If you add uh, lots of books, you, you will have a very large library of ebooks on Calibre, so it may be important to add tags. To do this, you can edit the metadata and change the tags here. So maybe I will add a tag called best sellers. Save it. And now you can choose here the tag to display only information that you'd like. So it can filter your library uh, very good. If you want to remove the selected tags, you must press here and you will have your full library. So with Calibre, you can also get new books. So this is a message that, uh, that inform you about uh, digital rights management, DRM, and uh, you can for example, search for Victor Hugo and it will search on all known library, online library compatible with Calibre. You, you can select or deselect some stores. Next, we can fetch news from the internet with Calibre. So maybe in 
in the USA, uh, we have this one. And I will download now uh, the last news. So we have a job here. This functionality will make uh, an ebook from the internet news so you can read it on your, uh, on, on your Kindle or other e-readers. So Calibre is a good way to, to, to read news on your e-reader if you, if you want to download the news uh, in the morning, for example. You just have to connect your e-reader on your computer and you'll have the news for the day on your ebook on your e-reader. Now it's finished, you, I can close this and uh, I can view the news from this online online news, news newspaper and of course I can transfer it to to my uh, to my to, to my Kindle. Of course, if you want to remove an ebook, you can click here and uh, it will show you a box that says that uh, the, selected, the selected book will be permanently deleted from Caliber. Yes, I'm sure I don't want it. And if you, if you want to, 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 to edit an ebook, you can click here, edit book, or with a right click on your mouse. Select Edit Book in Caliber and uh, Caliber have a good editor for your book. So if you make ebook on your computer, we can edit here all the files. For example, this one. And you can change uh, things here. Here. You can also change the, the styles, of course, it's in CSS format, so I can change here. Of course, if you want to change the style, you, you must know this uh, language, but maybe uh, you can have someone I will show you how to change uh, the color from your ebook. For example, when you're done, you can click on save, but I will not save here. So this is it for this video. It's a, it's a getting started video for the Caliber software. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.